Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. This is episode 2 of Rome Total War Remastered, playing as the House of the Scipii. Uh, in the first episode, uh, if you haven't watched it, then I highly recommend that you do. Um, a lot has happened. Um, our initial plan um, was to essentially go and invade Greece. But the Brutti I have kind of slingshotted all the way down and done that. Um, so yeah, we've now got a new plan where we're just going to try and focus on uh, Africa at the moment and take out that. But for everyone um, that is returning, thank you and welcome back. And for everyone that is new, I am Clan Chief William. Um, I mainly put stuff up on YouTube uh, and I also stream over on my Twitch uh, is twitch.tv forward slash clan chief volume. Um, I stream Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and also Sundays, which is the day I'm recording this. Uh, at 6 pm, we do some Dungeons and Dragons um, where it's just a, a, a bunch of misfit murder hobos trying to do the right thing. <laughs> um, again, that's only if you're interested in that. If you're here for the Rome Total War, I also appreciate that. Let's get, let's get right into it. So, um, we kind of found out that uh, the family tree, uh, uh, our third, our third born generation, don't not really starting off with much. Um, again, that's only really two, so we do have a uh, Publius. Um, we can uh, Placidia. She pro she'll probably marry a general, and we're adopting it the family. What I would like to do in this game, just because normally that's why. I I done half the time as I would like to make sure that the head of the house is a Scipio. Um, that's just kind of like the, the most enjoyment I get out of that. Um, if we get to a point where like, yeah, all the Scipio really suck and we need to um, put somebody else in charge of the house that's better, we will do that. Um, it's just at the moment I would prefer it to keep it uh, ethnically as the Scipio. Um, but here is our our head of the house, Cornelius Scipio. He's not too bad, sixty-two. He is unfortunately going to die soon. Um, he is a faction leader, so as you can see, he has the traits. This is what it gives him. He's a good commander. Um, so faction leader will give us plus two influence and plus one command. So uh, Julianus Scipio, you'll get another plus one and plus two into that. It's just a management when you can get up with that. Um, he's a politician, so that's good. Gives him influence. He's a skilled bureaucrat. Yeah, uh, he's Spartan, so yeah. Um, he's just very kind of simple. Doesn't doesn't need the uh, the all the luxuries in life. And he's a skilled infantry uh, infantry commander. Um, he's a useless assessor. <laughs> that's good. And a competent attacker. Now he should be here. We've taken all of Sicily. Um, oh, I don't think it was called Sicily back then, but we've taken all that. He is currently in Syracuse at the moment with our army. General, General, General. And we have him in the faction here. So we have Flavius over here uh, at Lilibium, just trying to kind of make sure that stays okay. We have a mission from the Senate to block the port of Carthage. So I think what we're going to do, Carthage looks weak at the moment. I think we just go right over to Carthage. We are building a second army here. or um, well, we do have a second army. Uh, I mean, guys, so I don't know... Excuse me. I don't know if I want to still just, like, take guys over here, take Sparta. Because um, then we will at least have some foothold in Greece. Um, when we do go to war with the Senate and with the Brutii. Um, or again, they might decide to side with me, but I, I highly doubt that. I've, I've never really had that in a game where they've, uh, where they've sided with me. Um, but it just means that we have a settlement here that we have a foothold in, and we can start taking settlements here. Um, let me see diplomacy, because who are the... 
Who the skippy I at war at? Right, so they're neutral with us. Yeah, they're overall ranking, they're above us right now. Is it in here you see diplomacy? See, I, I don't actually know. Where do you see diplomacy? I thought there was like a way you kind of tell like who's at war with who and stuff. There probably is a way I'm just being an idiot. Okay, so that, that that's our allies. Um So that's our arm that's who we're at war with, and I think that's yeah. Um this we're kind of in par with the Senate. The people do not like us. Um Flavius Julius is really good. He is really good. Um but yeah, we need we need to get someone in here. Like pronto, like really, like right now. Um, so yeah, let us enter. But yeah, I'm moving north. We'll probably need to go out and get some trade agreements as well. Macedonia. I think Macedonia are at war with the Brute. I hope that they, I hope that they are, because that'll be really good for us. Hmm. There might be hope here. There might be a fighting chance for uh, for the Greek cities. Right. So agent found Carthage. Hey, right, cool. We know that. War declared. Carthage in Spain. Right. Okay. So they're now in a war in two fronts. That's going to work out fantastic for us. A war in two fronts. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Just makes it harder for them. There we go. We have blocked Carthage. Um, have we? We have not retrained. Wait, let's see how much I'm making. Nine forty. Um, we can get some principes. They will be good to have. Let's get you guys over there. Get you guys retrained. I can't retrain my archers. Right, okay. That's going to be slightly annoying. Let's get two units of principes and we... I think... Uh, I don't think they've got enough to win this. If they win it, fantastic. If they don't, then kind of to be expected, I suppose. Right, I feel like we have a diplomat somewhere. I'll get my diplomat out. Hey, where is he? Hmm, how do you get agents up? There you go, agents. Sir. I will address them at once. Right, so they're trading, right? If they're actually allied with him. Right, okay. Give me map information. Regretfully, we must decline. Okay, so they won't do that. At once. Let us go and talk to Fresh. Byzantium. Hey, we'll use Mona about now. Let's get that up to high tax rate. Very high, fantastic. What's this at? Normal. Okay, good. Cool. Then turn. Couldn't really, couldn't really do much there, unfortunately. Gaul have a good general there. How's the Julia are, are running around making deals? See, I really, I really wanted Greece because the statue of Zeus gives us like a a bonus everywhere for like happiness and stuff like that. I really wanted that. Town grows. Perfect. Senate mission successful. Gains will be thrown in your honour at the Senate's, ex Senate's expense. Yay. Family tragedy. Somebody died. Right, 
Right, fantastic. Let's pull you back. Get over here. Oh, they've got a good general over there. I think we can get rid of these guys. Get rid of the mercenaries. Let's get a guy out. Wait, was I not odd? I thought I was recruiting principes. God damn it. Uh, let's go back there. I thought I had principes. High tax with a thing like that. Imperator! Um, so, what's happening here? Ooh, they haven't taken it. They've retreated. Nice, right. I think we just go. Let's go. We need to go. They've retreated. This is our chance. We, If we take the south for that, I, I'll be happy with that. Just taking the south of Greece, I am fine with it. That's what we wanted in the first place. Okay, here we go. We can get the second army. We can get guys to go to Carthage. I'm pretty sure we, we should be able to fund a second army. Love all these, uh, <laughs> all these diplomats and agents just moving. So, can you create archers here? No, you cannot. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade the governor's palace in here. So we're we're just gonna we're just gonna shoot to here. Hopefully, take Sparta. Hopefully, take Sparta. We we do have my faction there and the faction leader Cornelius Scipio. He's sixty three. Ooh, he's getting on. He is getting on. Let's just say, uh, let's just say that. Right, so can't build anything there. Could build a statue of Vulcan, print of Vulcan. Let's get those roads out to get some trade agreement up. Or get an income up. Um, move over here. Just more Macedonians. Right, so that is the Greek cities. Right, okay, so I think we'll build up, build up guys, build up his army, he's going to be pretty decent to be fair, build him up, um, and we're going to launch him, we're going to launch him at uh, Carthage, take out Carthage, and then we'll go up north, take out that, and then hopefully with having a foothold in Carthage, we can then start to expand down and go, go up here, go up the north of Africa, going to, Africa going to Spain, capture all of Spain, and then hopefully start making our way to Egypt because we've got some windows we can capture here as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure Egypt will have some decent resources for us to make it a little bit more wealthy. Um, so yeah, that's just the Prince of Beast being recruited, and that is just our income. What's the next mission? I said I asked you to take this settlement. Right, okay, so we'll need to go for this one first then. What the Senate want, we'll need to do it, unfortunately, at the moment. Take that settlement. I wonder when Brutia are going to try and make a push again for that. A suitable husband. Uh, Galerinius uh, Petrius. He's a good attacker. Uh, he's been in wars. Hmm. Doesn't seem that good to be fair. We'll just take him. Marriage celebrations, there we go. So 
some principes. There you go. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. You'll be over there, won't you? No, he's not. Where is it? So if we're going with the line of succession, right? So Julianus is next, it'd be Flavius Scipio that'd be next. Be over there. Right, you can you can take the principes since they're not going to be used. And let's recruit some of these guys, and then we'll go and take there. Am I going to go into debt? Really? Surely not. They're going to get really mad. Ten turn. I can't even remember to keep moving my diplomat. I haven't. God damn it. I'm so bad for that, honestly. I'm really, I'm so bad for when it comes to remember to move my diplomat and my agents. Right, so they've got, they kind of get a little army outside of Carthage. That won't be too challenging. Very seat. I thought I was damaging my thingy there. There we go. Available. So it's somehow. It's not required for it, okay. That's fine. Yeah, let's maintain it. So he, they're going to maybe have to choose. What have they got here? Got a governor, Doros of Sparta. Some decent units in here. Some decent units in there. I think what we should just do at the moment is we should probably just move. Uh, I'm going to take more of a hit. Yeah, let's get our our boat's moving back. There's a storm. Really not having a good start to this game. Honestly, we're not. It's been quite a brutal start for us. Mate, that's in turn. Let's see what the Greek cities do. Let us end the bloodshed. <laughs> eh, no. Until next time. Chris, I kill. We have to win that. But... Popularity falls with the masses. Really? Jeez, man. As if the masses don't hate me enough. Aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. So that, that must take us down to one then, surely? Oh no. Is that all? Here we go. So they've got reinforcements, one hot plate. Let us fight this. So we have... Cornelius. Cornelius is the commander. Not a faction leader. So it's Cornelius that's the, it's the commander right now. The faction heir. So let us fight this one, guys. Let's do it. Let's take Sparta. 
They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? This army is fully one quarter of all our warriors. Imagine how we look to our enemies and take heart from that thought. Our people expect great things of us, and we are the men to do great things. We are the men to do great things. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs. So unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. We will use our many missiles to rain death upon them. They will beg for an end to our deadly storm. <clears throat> These people have yet to taste victory. Our javelins sense. will block out the sun. They will be no different. So lay into them with a will. The seer can offer no guidance for this day. So we must grasp our own fates and make what we will of them with an iron purpose. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard. Strike without mercy. Oh! Here we go. The Battle of Sparta. I see a... Big Cornelius, there he is. And there is his son. Right, cool. So we've got more than one entrance. Let us... Bam! That is news us to our advantage. Come on, guys. Face the gates. <laughs> As if I would tell you to sit like that. Right, cool. We'll have my son lead the second wrestle. We put enough trust in him to do that, don't we? I mean, we would hope so. Give you some range units as well. Everyone is fired at will. Let's start it. Um, let's get them moved down there. My friend, uh, my friend was saying like, "Oh, do you never group the units?" I've actually never, I never group them together. I've, I know a lot of people do that. Never ever done it. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. Are they going to try and? Are they actually going to try and come for me here? I mean, if that's what they want to do. I'm not against that. Our soldiers have reached the gates with the battering ram. There we go, we're in. Let's move in. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. So let's march these guys up here. We could go and right, right for these guys, but let's not do that. Right, so we've got those gates. 
Walls. Let's move you in now. Move you in. We can get these guys in a pincer. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Let's move you in now. I think these guys are try go for my general. Right, good. That's it. Fire on them. Pick them off. Ah, don't you move in. Just get him in the back. Right, there we go. Who we dealt with. So nice. Got the general, he's dead. The gods be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. This is how you deal with Greek hot plates. Slow but sure, guys. Slowly but surely. Let's get you guys in. Ah, do not move into them, guys. Move back. It's the only annoying thing about the siege battles. Just how kind of janky it is. Ah, no. It's Dari. Cool. We're in. We are in. In fact, let us go around here, guys.
Right, let's go around the back here. Making good progress. Just these horsemen we need to watch out for because they can kind of mess us up. That is the only issue we have right now. Right, there we go. These little buggers, where are they coming from here? Eh? I'll start here, I get good, uh, good chevrons, so that's fine. Just the threat of knowing that we could come out the back of them here, but we really can't. Are they are the elite cavalry going to actually charge us? We should win that. Retreat, retreat, retreat. This has been an excellent maneuver, I think. There you go. Victory is almost certain. We'll see any way they can win this. If they maybe that, if they maybe have, maybe have kept their guys here, they could maybe have won it. But they kind of also had to meet out and mark and kind of. It's a, it's a hard one, do you know what I mean? You either, you, either, you either give the enemy all the city and you just sit here with your hot plates, which I would do. I would just sit there with my hot plates and use that to my advantage. Oh, those guys are quite damaged at 11. Woo! Hey, it's just a matter of time. They should die. Let's say, got fire on it. Well, this is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. Heroic victory. Rome has conquered. We can exterminate, and we can get our um, get everything back up into the positives, and we can now get. Calvary Auxilia, nice. That's some good, uh, some Calvary, I like that. Now, we need to hope, for some majestical reason, that these guys fail again, and then I can move in. Noble master, at what without delay, 
Eh, uh, fresh. Let's do this. A most generous proposal. Trade rights and map information. You can give me some map information. Fantastic. Resistance is futile. Harsh times demand harsh measures. The people have now been put to the sword and now understand the price of defying Roman power. <laughs> I fucking love it. Love it. Um, right, no news. We need to take that. Right. Everything seems to be kind of cool over here. Maybe build another wee ship just in case. There we go. He's now waiting to go and take that settlement. So we can hopefully in time do the mission for the Senate as well. I feel like Macedonia might go to war with the Brutai. That should be like maybe one of our only thing. Or one of our hopes to recapture Greece. Let us end the bloodshed. Ceasefire? Eh, uh, definitely Until not. Until next time. You started a war on two fronts. We're going to use this to our advantage. I am um, no alerts, no news. I've got that construction, yeah, it's fine. Let's recruit one more boat. Probably get, uh, yeah, I probably don't need that, that's fine. We'll do that over there. They've got a big army. I don't see them failing this. I generally don't see them failing that. If they fail to take Corinth, then yeah, that is a big mistake by them. But again, I don't see them failing to take Corinth. Corinth seems uh, a bit too too easy to take right now. Right, let's see if we can rebuild. Let's get some more roads. Let's get a trader in here. Wait, build some traders. Send a turn. How's the brute? Yeah, what are you doing? Hersa Julii has not been as active as they normally are. Oh, Carthage is not happy. Well, Carthage will be next. Bye, Captain. Diplomatic information. The following factions have broken their alliances, Britannia and the House of Julii. The following factions declared a ceasefire, Dacia and Macedonia. Oh, okay. The noble settlers of Rome have decided in their wisdom that your faction does not deserve the honour of holding any republic's office state at this time. God damn it. So, who, who does have a position within uh, the public? So SPQR, they're still they're still holding it. Flavius is making his way up. The plebeians hate you more than eh, more than that. <laughs> they hate all my friends as well. Nice, I like it. Come on, Sparta, somehow hold out. I don't I don't see them doing it. I just do not see them doing it. Right, we've got four turns to complete this mission and take a uh, Carolus. Let's go and take it. I forgot to move my bloody diplomat again. Somebody say to me in chat, Will you move your diplomat? <laughs> Honestly, man. Put in those comments. Hey, dude, remember to move your diplomats next time. Oh. Marriage celebrations. Lucius Scipio. Okay. Diplomatic. Uh, the following factions are now at war. Scythia and Parthia. 
their allies, Numidia and the Solicited Empire, the following faction declared a ceasefire, Spain and Britannia. Has Britannia got all the way down to Spain already? Jeez Louise, man. We are just waiting here, ready to take Corinth for, for whatever reason they do not take it, which is highly doubtful, but why are you upset now? What's up? Uh, public order bonus duty happiness. Let's do that. Let's get some more. Let's some focus on more, some more finance at the moment. Get three turns and we should be able to take this. There you go. Uh, let's move up. Let's go and talk to them. But we'll talk to Dacian first. No more moves. Noble master. Macedonia at war with Thresh. Right, okay. That's interesting. I don't see Thresh winning that. Macedonia should win that. Thresh are kind of like a, a mix of Greek barbarian, a barbaric faction there. <clears throat> hmm. Surprised that Britain's already at war with bloody Spain. Like, jeez Louise, man. Come on, do something, dude. Either take it or don't. Right, so you'll take that guy, so we've got two turns, so next turn then I should be able to take it. Cool, sorted. And then we'll move... What can we build here? Let's build a... One, in fact, no, let's build some more. Yep. Focusing on finance right now, because that's what we need. Alliance announced, Spain and... Right, so they wait for a ceasefire to then have an alliance. Okay. Very interesting. Capio is fine. We're just building some more up here. We'll get some traders in the go as well. Get some more money that way. Yes. I will address them at once. What was that? Nice. Yes. Honor. Wait, what? Why can I? Your honor. Awaiting your command. Okay. Somehow I can't talk to him. That's a merchant, that's why. Um, how long are they holding out? Well, it must be like two more turns until like, they give up. Yeah, you're still in there, Flavius. We need our guys just to kind of lock everything down. <laughs> right. If Brutii get more troops in that army. Well, I just saw that they did. They're definitely going to take that then. God damn it. Let us now talk reasonably. Unless, right, can we do give region? Oh, we can't even do quite. I was going to see if I could, like, snake it right underneath them. Nah. Until next time. Oh, we don't see Svaya Greek. Or Greece. They have. They've got more guys. Jeez Louise, man. They are not letting up here. Diplomatic information. Now, war, Germania and Dacia. The faction now broken their alliances. Dacia and Thrace. Right. 
so. Yeah, I can all resolve that. He killed six of my guys. Victory! Exterminate it. Senate mission successful. Oh, more games will be thrown in my order. That's nice. That's what I want. Not as if I want a position within the Senate, you know what I mean? Right. The games have been held in this settlement. Uh, like all true Romans, the people have been ex uh, excited and enthralled by the great spectacle and distracted from their uh, humdrum worries and petty grumble grumbles. <laughs> so it was such an effective thing to use, though. Like the gladiators and stuff like that. Marcus and Maxitinius. Can we increase the... Right, cool, yeah, let's increase that, let's get some more money. They're already screaming for the, the top anyway. Oh, no, they're, they're still not happy about that. We're not happy! It's not, we're not making his pay! Um, let us do a shrine to Saturn. Uh, paved roads and let us do a port. Let's get a port here. Hey, come on, do something, man. Really run in and take it. We, we moved the diplomat, don't worry, guys. <laughs> Definitely moved the diplomat. I think we just 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 like go to Carthage right now. I think Oof. Britannia seem to have a huge force, by the way. They've taken it. Fuck, they've taken it. Coming of age, Publius. Let us see him. Nice. Took. Oh no, that's Quintus. God damn it. God damn it, you tease. Let's see. Publius, what are we thinking? <laughs> He's so shit. Zero, zero, zero. Oh my god. Get no traits. Nothing. Sir, These guys are really. You're you're annoyed. Alliance announced Macedonia and Dacia. Okay. Stoic philosophy. Let's get our spy over here. Uh, no, that can get destroyed. That can get destroyed. We don't want that. What's the new Senate mission? Take settlement. Hal can we Arcanus? So do I to take that? Cool. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Build some town watcher. Trade rights. Map information. Map information. You think that's generous? Okay. A most generous proposal. Take it. Let's get some more trade in the go. Then we can kind of go west, go to Germany and stuff like that. That is the plan.
wonder how Carthage is doing in Spain. Of course. <laughs> of course. They, they block my port. Ceasefire in effect. The Greek cities and the House of Julia. Plague in Macedonia. The hand pump has also been invented. That is the rebels' capital? Or just maybe they're rebels? I don't know. We're going to need to build some town watch here when we go and deal with Carthage. The faction leader and the faction heirs both in there. Probably would win that just because of the experience of that guy. Right. Sir. Where do we want to move our guys to now? They've got quite a lot of days here, haven't they? We can go there. Because Germany's up here also. Go up there. How much are we making now? Right, good. We're making a lot more. That's what we want. Right, end turn. Cool. Fortunately, I think this one is just kind of a wee bit about ending turns. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens, unfortunately. The Greek cities besieging my port was a little bit of a setback. But we've got it now. There you go. Orders, My faction here has grey hair. He's Louise. Imperator. Shit. I didn't want that. Path blocked. She's far in effect. Right, we know that. We start building some more. That should be. Now let's um get some barracks here. No, let's do that first because that's gonna yeah do that and that. Cool. Trade rights, map information, map information. A most generous proposal. Nice, I like it. Brutii have now declared war in Macedonia. That could be their downfall. We want Macedonia to win here. But the issue is I think Macedonia are at war with another faction. So yeah. Oh shit. Oh, we won that, thank god. Ooh, that was dangerous. We could have lost our second army there. Let us end the bloodshed. Eh, uh, no. Until next time. 
Definitely not. Oh shit. Oh my god. We could have just lost our faction leader and heir all at once there. Let's get off the boats. Let's take this. What have they got? Who's that? Armor top lights. That was nearly dangerous. Following factions now at war with each other. SPQR Macedonia, House of Julia in Macedonia, uh, and have declared a ceasefire. Right, we already know that. That keeps popping up. We already know they've got a ceasefire on the go. Right. Um, yeah, let's get some of them. Here we go, they're going to have reinforcements. Let's fight it. Let's go at it! Let's have a go at it! We face adversity! A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people! We will be honoured as men! Carthage's army stands in the field. They are not worth fearing. They die as easily as other men. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. You are one of the largest armies our people have ever sent to war. Take comfort in this, but know that it is also a burden. We are a mighty force, but mighty deeds are expected. So have no fear. Your deeds will live forever. They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. They may try to hide in the woods and spring an ambush, but we will not fall for such an obvious trap. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. There we go. So long as we live and die like true Romans. Um, got guys move forward here. Fire it well. Alright, let us move up. Who have they bought as reinforcements? Go ahead and ask them. Let's move up. Don't run. Don't run near the front. The hot lights won't, won't get me. I can just harass this general.
Just keep him at bay. Didn't really get any of them. Okay, cool. That was easy. They broke. Cool. The enemy show their true virtue. So they run. Gaius Scipio. Retinue expands military mil military tribune guy Scipio. What does this do for him? Plus one command when defending improves the chances of getting elected to senatorial offices. Hopefully. That's what we're hoping for. He's also now a confident commander. Nice. Let's maintain that. Cool. I'm liking the advancement that we're doing right now. Um, done that with them. Let's move up. And we can take a. Uh, we can take a. Uh, Pergam, and then move south within seven turns. I'm hoping Macedonia do enough damage to the Brutii that they need to move their guys north and there's a rebellion and I can take that. Macedonia. I'll probably lose that. Oh, we win. Nice. He ran away. Cool. far in effect, unique cities in the house of Jul We already know this. Quintus Scipio has been assigned Questor. Hey, hey, here we go. About time. And it was it was a guy that's hardly really done anything for us. Let's not let's not grumble. We've got we've got a Senate position. We can we can take Carthage. Victory! Oh my god. Jeez Louise, that is a lot of money. Oh, that is a lot of money we just got there. A lot of money. Right. 
There's elephants there. I think we could take Pergamon as well. There we go. Taking that. We have just made a healthy amount of uh, of gold from this. I'm not gonna lie. Let's retrain our men. Oh, I can get. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Capturing Carthage was the play. It has opened us up to a lot more things we can do. Nice, I like it. Let's get the fleet in there. Yeah, retrain our fleet as well. Hey, cool. So what can we do with Capio then? That that is a capital. Um, let's get the crop uh, rotation in. Let's get the sewers, shipwright, market. Get that. This can grow. Let us get Shrine of Vulcan. Yep, let's get that. Sorted. So now we could probably we need to move all the way around, don't we? We could probably we can still probably take that. It's got a merchant uh, and a spy out. Okay, let's end this turn. Trade rates, map information, map information. A most generous proposal. Yes, it is. I give the most generous of of proposals. Macedonia seem like they've got an army coming south. That's cute if they think they're going to retake Carthage with that army. That's really cute. Oh, the money we just made there. That is redonkulous. Nice. We could probably th uh, fund a third army now. So Greek city states in Pontus, uh, they keep declaring a ceasefire, I don't know if they keep going to war. Augustus Scipio, I like the name, I like the name, who had a son. The old dog at 52 years of age, he had another kid. Okay. Okay. I mean... Back then, I'd think that's because I done quite a feat, to be fair. <laughs> um, right, what else have we got? They've got all the way over there. I don't think really we can. Let's head over to here. That's fine, we've got that. So we're having them head out. Let's recruit some Hestata here. 
awesome town to watch. Four, four is always kind of the magic number. Oh, the solicits. Right, so our plan now is to go south, uh, take Hell Cal Hell Hell Calinaris, if I'm saying that correctly. Take that off the rebels, and then we can take Rhodes. I'd imagine we have made great strides into Carthage. Um, the sacking of Carthage has given us a, a massive ton um, of gold. So that was that was a move. It was really well done. It's going to slingshot us forward um, and been able to kind of fund more armies. As I said our income now is we went from seven to now four, nearly four and a half thousand. But I imagine we could probably fuel or get enough money for another army, which I think we should probably start doing. Um, probably start hiring a new army, um, and we should let's let's get that done in Syracuse. Let's get some principes over here, um, some Velites. Um and just for the sake of it. We're gonna get some Triarii as well. We're gonna get them for the main army, and then we're gonna get rid of these guys as well, and then get cavalry auxiliary. One thing I actually like about this game is see when you recruit units, it actually shows those guys from uh, from where they're actually from. So if you recruit um, units or men from Carthage, they're gonna have the darker skin tone, and it's gonna show that. And I think that's a really nice touch to show how Rome actually knew the citizens that incorporated into its empire um, effectively and efficiently. And I, I like that little nice kind of touch to it. Um, to show that representation, so it is really good. Um, but guys, I am going to end it there. Let us save the game. Um, and we'll do it as always as the YouTube save. Yep. But everyone, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Unfortunately, it was a little bit of a slower start. Um, but now that we have a foothold in Carthage and um, now kind of like um, Asia Minor as well, I can see it's kind of like spreading out east a little bit more here as well. Maybe kind of, unfortunately not taking Greece, but maybe kind of taking um, Asia Minor all the way down here and kind of meeting up. Um, with guys that I think that's our plan going forward so we'll probably go to war with the Seleucid his name's Alexander <laughs> um, we'll probably go to war with Seleucid uh, and Egypt and I imagine that time as well um, this is the play I think I probably want to make it's probably going to be the most uh, financially beneficial for us as well can I take like roads and um, these little settlements along here give us like naval control and stuff like that as well um, and then we can kind of turn our attention back to Spain. We kind of want to make sure that if and when we do go to war with the Senate and the Brutii, we want to make sure we've got staging points here, here, um, Spain as well for the Julii, and then also we've got Capio going right in at the Senate for Rome. Um, but yeah, guys, I appreciate everyone who has um, watched today's video. Um, if you can, I'd really appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today, um, and enjoying the series, this is the second episode, please hit that follow, um, not follow, I'm too much of Twitch, sorry, <laughs> please hit that like and subscribe button, it goes a long way to support my YouTube channel that I'm trying, I'm trying to get off the ground, I'd really appreciate that, um, if you want to follow me on Twitch, again it is twitch.tv forward slash clan chief william, and Twitter uh, is, um, is clan chief will, um, in there as well and you can find all my kind of social medias in there so guys i really appreciate it everyone thank you thank you thank you stay safe and the highland chief salutes you